cordially invited to attend the Let's Have a Heart to Heart, 21st Annual Hamptons Heart Ball, Saturday, June 10th, 2017, 6P to 11P, 9.30P to 12.30 AM, Southampton Arts Center, 25 Jobs, Southampton, New York. And that is one gorgeous place. Had a lot of people working on this and supporting this event. You have Burton Meredith Cohn, New York Langone, Definer, East End and Winthrop, B&B, Dan's Papers, Avenue, Columbia Doctors Novaratis, Hamptons, Community Medical, Hamptons.com, People United, and others, including Good News Planet, American Heart Association. Go to some of our great stories about heart health. Okay, hi, I'm here with Ralph, Dr. Ralph Mosca. Hi, uh, how are you? Hi, so my name is Dr. Ralph Mosca. I'm the uh, Vice Chair of Cardiac Surgery and the Director of Congenital Heart Surgery at NYU Langone Medical Center. Wow, uh, important work. And so are you a specialist on any part of the heart? Yeah, so I do mostly uh, surgery on babies and infants who are born with malformed hearts. Oh my God. So what kind of a... a, a now formed hearts are there okay so basically the heart's made up of four chambers and two great vessels and veins that enter the heart and basically any combination of problems that you can think of can happen these are congenital genetic malformations so there can be holes in the heart there can be missing parts of the heart it can be parts of the heart that are arranged abnormally and our job is to diagnose that and to correct it or palliate it as best we can so what are some of the ways that you uh, do correct it? Right. So almost all these operations involve open heart surgery. And so we'll um, actually have the baby go to sleep, open the chest, and use the bypass machine so we can operate on the heart while the heart is empty and not beating. And then we can open the heart or open the arteries and do whatever corrective surgery needs to be done. When, when someone does have a heart attack um, and they don't have the same, I call it pumping or the, uh, of the heart, as they had, or maybe it's down to a 30 uh, as opposed to a 60. Um, how can they repair themselves? Is there a way? So uh, I'm not sure I understand the question, but so most of these babies don't have heart attacks. Their coronaries right. are actually normal. It's the structures inside of the heart. But it is interesting that you mention it because as they age, they can then develop coronary disease. So they can have what we consider adult heart disease or coronary blockages on top of their malformed hearts. I guess I was thinking. I guess I was referring more to an adult yes. uh, who that happens to. Yes. So in in that case, say in an adult, uh, um, how does somebody repair a, a, a weakened heart? Right. So if their congenital problem has been fixed, let's just say, for example, they're born with a hole between the bigger chambers of their heart. If that's been fixed when they were a baby and they've done okay and then grow up to be 50, 60, 70 years old and have coronary disease like we all tend to get as we age, then that can be operated on as it would be if you don't have coronary, if you don't have congenital heart disease. So similar techniques. Uh -huh. So this must be very rewarding for you to, uh, to see the, the faces of uh, parents of a young, young baby. Yeah, it's, it's the, to me it's the most rewarding possible profession. First of all, I love working with children because they're, they're wonderful, they're full of energy, they want to get better and go home. And also that I get a special relationship with their parents who obviously are very happy that the babies are doing well. And it's very scary for them to think of their baby having heart disease, but once it's taken care of, after it's been explained to them, obviously there's a lot of reward from both sides. Great. Well, thank you and congratulations for being awarded. And uh, that's a great honor and uh, you're doing very important work. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we should all support the American Heart Association because it's through their money that we're able to continue research on new technologies to help our patients. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you.